Introducing the Autism Included Language Acquisition Framework, an autism-affirming approach to language acquisition. The Autism Included Language Acquisition Framework is a child-led autism-affirming approach to language acquisition backed by modern research and the support of the autistic community. The framework consists of six steps across two stages, resulting in the acquisition of authentic communication skills. The first stage is the discovery stage, where we identify messages that the child is already sending to use as building blocks for authentic communication skills. We identify these messages using three sequential steps, observation, hypothesis forming, and confirmation. Once a message has been identified, we move on to the development stage, where we begin to model and build authentic communication skills around that message. This begins with the co-construction step, and then continues on to generalization and expansion, which can be done in parallel. Let's take a closer look at each step to understand how they work. Taking a child-led approach requires us to first determine what messages the child is already trying to communicate in the observation step. We gather neutral and unbiased data about how the child behaves and communicates to leverage in the future. We observe Timothy running back and forth in the yard staring at the fence. We want to record what is happening without making assumptions. If we noted an assumption that Timothy was trying to escape the yard, we may restrict ourselves from considering other possibilities. In this case, it turned out he liked the way the fence grid looked as he ran by. Next, we need to form a hypothesis about the behavior we observed. What is the trial trying to communicate? It's common to form more than one hypothesis during this stage before we get it right. Samantha would scream whenever there were loud noises, such as another child falling off a chair or other children yelling. However, she did not react this way to other loud noises, such as a car horn or a fire alarm. In this case, we might form a hypothesis that Samantha is imitating the emotions of others. In the last step of the discovery stage, we attempt to validate or raise confidence that we correctly identified the message the child is intending to send. Carlos would aggressively roar at us and other children. We knew he liked animals and formed a hypothesis that he was pretending to be an animal. We asked Carlos, are you an animal, but got no reaction. We tried a more specific hypothesis and asked if he was a dinosaur and was met with excited laughter and roaring confirmation. We were now confident that we got it right. Now that we have identified the message we want to work with, we will make their confirmed message more intentional, clear, and specific. We do this by providing multiple opportunities for the child to imitate a clearer, specific message with a variety of modalities. Kaylee, who is non-speaking, liked to play with the door by opening and closing it. By providing a picture of a door to represent this action, we taught Kaylee how to request to play with the door by pointing to the picture. With the generalization step, we work on the expression of increasingly specific messages more frequently, in more contexts, and with more partners. Jamal had gotten very good at communicating the word go when he wanted to leave. Now that we are generalizing, we are working on using go in other contexts and with other people. For example, using go when communicating about a car leaving a parking lot or a pet leaving the room. In the expansion step, we focus on promoting reciprocity, building linguistic complexity, further expanding communicative functions, and increasing vocabulary. Jamie had a stuffed animal she loved called Bunny. During the expansion step, we began to explore expanding vocabulary around Bunny. Bunny is at a party. I see Bunny. Bunny is pink. Each pass through the framework results in additional skills the child can now use independently. Each message we identify will pass through these steps, and we may be working with multiple messages in parallel. This means we may be at different steps in the framework for different messages, all at the same time. We hope you enjoyed our content today. The work we do wouldn't be possible without the help of our incredible volunteers and donors like you. To donate, scan the QR code on the screen or text INCLUDE ME to 53555. You can also donate through our website, autismincluded.org. While you're there, you can learn more about our mission, 
programs, volunteer opportunities, and explore our growing collection of information and resources. Thank you, and hope to see you soon.